Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports News. I'm Jim Brooke, and this is going to be a quick, a couple minute preview to the Reading Royals versus Worcester Railers. As we're going to have Tristan uh, Cote Senzanavi uh, make his first start for the Reading Royals, as in the Lions rule that Dylan does with Coach. Um, he has a high confidence in him, which he should. He had an over 900 save percentage in the queue and was doing good in the college equivalent up there in Canada as well. Um, Royals have to bring him on. He's a six foot one, one ninety pound netminder who hasn't played a professional game. It could be his first professional game, uh, but the Canadian equivalent to the NCAA is two and two with a nine oh six, and then again had over a career nine hundred or exactly a nine hundred save percentage in the QMJHL. <clears throat> um, his best season was in eighteen nineteen with the Ramparts when he went twenty fifteen and three with a nine twenty save percentage, which is really good. So it's going to be interesting to see uh, what. Tristan Cote Senzanabe is able to do. I thought Hawkey played solid last game. There's a couple goals he might have been able to guard a little bit better, but I thought he played a solid overall game. The Royals have been getting pretty good goaltending throughout most of this year. There's only been a couple games you can point to uh, that the goaltender really did not step up him. So now we're looking for Tristan Cote Senzanabe to become a big part of the guys that are stepping up, just like the other new guy in Trevor Gooch stepped up, and um, as well as... Um, Mike Crocock was finally able to get his first goal uh, last game as well, and Anthony Gagnon looked very good as well, and Cam Strong was also able to get one in front. I mean, having adding these people, Kurt McDonald said on the lines, which just adds depth to your lineup, but adds more spunk offensively to your lineup throughout, because you have now really talented offensive players with Crest, rather than just really good do-it-all players. Now you have guys um, that can really push the pace, whether it's Gagnon flipping down there or Trevor Gooch flipping down there. Um, you also brought in Ryan Rolfe, who had skill. Uh, Brad, uh, Morrison's a guy that um, everybody still expects a little bit more out of. Eventually has a lot more offense in that blade. So you have a lot of offensive skill on this team. Combined with, even after losing David Drake, um, you still have good defense. You got McNally, obviously. You got Cicery. Uh, you got Crocock, who scored the goal yesterday. You got Dominic Cormier, who's one of the better at getting the shot through. We saw the snipe, or not yesterday, but Wednesday. We saw the snipe on Wednesday from Dominic Cormier. Um, the Reading Royals, they played very well, came out with a lot of fire. Usually, it takes a little bit to get your legs under them. Nobody told them that. They did great against Anirondack on Wednesday. If they can come out against Wooster just like that, they're going to beat them because Wooster hasn't been good lately. They lost to the main Mariners on Wednesday, got killed by the same Anirondack team that the Royals beat on Wednesday on Sunday uh, before the Monday game against the Royals got postponed. So, uh, this Wooster team struggling big time. The Reading Royals are looking much better than them. So they're playing good hockey, Wooster's not, so the Royals still got to take advantage of that, come out like fire like they did yesterday, and then not lay off the gas pedal pretty much, or not yesterday, but again, Wednesday, like they did um, on Wednesday, they never laid off the gas pedal, so they gave up some goals in the third, and it became a heart attack level third, but that was just more because of solid play, solid shooting by Anirondack, who's a very good team as well, rather than the Royals sucking defensively or anything like that, I didn't think that was the case whatsoever so just come out strong um keep pushing it the entire game never take your foot off that gas pedal like we've seen a couple times this year and i think the reading Royals should be able to beat the wooster rails or at least keep a point streak going against the wooster rails have a great safe and pleasant day everybody i'm not up there at the game as you can see because i got my booster shot i just literally in the last hour started feeling like i had any energy but everybody have a great safe and pleasant day continue to subscribe um, down below or up above on the easy to use widget to keep us growing into the new year. Let's go Royals. Let's keep getting better into the new year. Peace out, everybody.